Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense. Hope that you're doing well. Bunch of you out there have made requests for more clone content. Clone tent, we'll call it. And so today I'm gonna be going over five of the biggest clone brands out there right now and some of their best fragrances. Basically, if you're gonna know anything from these houses, these are the fragrances that you should know. Now, I'm not including Dua or Alexandria fragrances in this video because frankly, I've not smelled enough of them. And right now, I think I own maybe one from each one of those clone houses. So I can't really you know, give you a whole lot of info on those. With that out of the way, let's jump into this and let's check out just a crazy amount of clones here. It's, 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 it's too much. All right, guys, let's kick it off with the most well-known one, Armoff. If you've looked into clone fragrances at all, then you've definitely seen Armoff. Just in case, for some reason, somebody out there doesn't know what I'm talking about when I say a clone fragrance, I mean a fragrance that is much more affordable than an expensive fragrance, and the clone fragrance is trying to clone the more expensive fragrance. You get it. Basically, you wanna spend not much money to smell like the fragrance that costs a lot of money. Okay, so Armoff. They've got a ton of fragrances. Some of them are horrible, but then they have a lot of fragrances that are actually very solid. And we're gonna talk about some of those really quickly. Now I have so many fragrances to go over in this video. I'm not gonna show you the bottle for each one or do a long breakdown because then this video would be like 40 minutes long. So we're gonna kind of go through this pretty quickly, okay? First off, you need to know the Club de Nuit line from Armoff, most specifically Club de Nuit Intense, which is the most popular of all the Club de Nuit fragrances. This is a clone of Creed's Aventus. And this is also the most popular Creed Aventus clone on the market. You're gonna get big time performance from this. It lasts forever, big compliment puller. Thing to be aware of with this is that the opening it is kind of harsh. It smells a little bit like lemon cleaner initially. Once it tones down and settles down though, it smells much better. And uh, if you can find it, the limited edition of Club de Nuit Intense is even better. Then Club de Nuit Milestone. This is going to be a clone of Creed's Millicene Imperial. Really good, very close to the Creed. And you don't get that skanky opening like you do in Club de Nuit Intense Man. This one is much smoother. Then there's Club de Nuit Siage. This one smells like Creed's Silver Mountain Water. There's also our Moth Derby Clubhouse Blanche, which also smells like Silver Mountain Water. If you can get only one of those, or if I were to suggest only one, it would be Club de Nuit Siage. I think that one's better. Then there's also the original Club de Nuit Man. That one is a clone of Paco Rabanne's One Million. I probably wouldn't go for that one. Uh, I'd go Halloween Man if I'm looking for an alternative to uh, Paco Rabanne's One Million and I don't want to spend very much money. Then there's Club de Nuit Urban Man. That one sucks. Okay, and we also have Armoff Tre Nuit. Now this one is kind of a take on Green Irish Tweed from Creed, once again. And this one is very solid, especially for the price. My wife actually likes the way that this one smells quite a bit. Good amount of sweetness in there. Train a wee worth checking out. Then there's our Moth Niche Oud, which actually smells really good. I wouldn't necessarily say it's niche quality, but it smells really nice. It's a little bit similar to Ombre Sultan from uh, Serge Luton. Then we've also got Craze. Now this one has a really cheesy looking presentation that's pretty cheap. Mine kind of fell apart a little bit. As you can see here, this is a clone of Pegasus from Parfums de Marley, and it's a pretty good clone. And the last one I'll talk about from Armoff is the Pride of Armoff. And this one is kind of like a smooth Sauvage Eau de Parfum clone. So a nice alternative to Sauvage, not quite as abrasive. You could also go with Ventana, also from Armoff, and that one is also a Sauvage clone. So there's Armoff and kind of some fragrances to get you started with that house. But oh no, they are not the only house. There's also Afnan. Now Afnan is not as prolific as our Moff, so there's not quite as much Afnan stuff out there. What they're most well known for is their Supremacy line of fragrances. So you have Supremacy Silver. This one is once again, 
a Creed Aventus clone. And then there's also Afnon Supremacy, not only Intense, which is also an Aventus clone. I like the opening to Afnon Supremacy Silvermore. I like the dry down to Afnon Supremacy, not only Intense more. So it really depends on what's more important to you. Uh, if you're going just for a straight up performance, not only Intense would be the way to go. Then we've got Supremacy in Heaven. And that one is a clone of Silver Mountain Water. Yeah. <laughs> one thing you're gonna notice, seems like every single clone house, they have a clone of Silver Mountain Water and they have a clone of Aventus. Supremacy in Heaven is pretty good. I would say I would rather have Club de Nuit Siage though between the two. And then there's also Supremacy Incense. This one is a clone of Interlude Man from Amouage and it's a really good one. Also love the presentation on these. Really nice looking. I like the, the gradient color on this. Cool. Then there's also 9 p.m. from Afnon. That's probably their most well-known clone that's not part of the Supremacy line. And that one is gonna be a take on Ultramall from Jean-Paul Gaultier, and it's a good one too. Now do keep in mind that's 9 p.m., not 9 a.m. There's also a fragrance called 9 a.m., and that one is a fragrance for the ladies. Now let's move on to Rasasi. Rasasi is gonna be a little bit more costly than Armoff and Afnan, but by paying more, you get generally a higher quality of fragrance. We'll start off with this one, which is the first fragrance that I think of when I hear Rasasi, and that is La Yukawam. So La Yukawam is gonna be a clone of Tuscan leather from Tom Ford, and it is a dang good clone. Out of everything here, it might be the best one. La Yukawam is great in terms of the quality, smells fantastic, lasts forever, love that one. They're also really well known for Hawass, and that's gonna be a clone of Invictus Aqua from Paco Rabanne. So a lot of people that are trying to get that that original Invictus Aqua kind of vibe instead of the re-release, they'll go with Rasasi Hawass. Then they have Alwasam Day, which is yet again a Silver Mountain Water clone. But that's not the only one that they have that smells like Silver Mountain Water. They also have this one in Tiba, which is fairly close to Silver Mountain Water as well. This one does have some interesting notes in it though, like plum, praline, and vanilla. So it's set apart a little bit, but it still is at its heart inspired by Silver Mountain Water. And then another fragrance they're very well known for is Darige, which is a clone of Valentino V, which has been discontinued for quite a while and is pretty expensive nowadays. Now I'm a big discontinued fragrance fan, so I'm completely biased here but I would be way more interested if Armoff, Rasasi, any of these brands started to come out with fragrances that were clones of discontinued scents, as long as they did a good job with it. I mean, you come up to me, you know, with your, your trench coat and you open it up and you're like, hey, I got fragrances that smell like Gucci Envy and Gucci Porome, $25. Instead of walking away like I should, I'd be like, wait, really? Let me see. They're back here in, in my van. <laughs> I got a lot of discontinued fragrance clones. They smell 99% similar. I'd be like, cool, man. <laughs> I'm gonna hop in there and start looking at these fragrances. <laughs> You'd never see me again. But that would be great, for real. Arm off, you guys, you clone guys. Can you, can you do that? Can you make that a thing? Some of those discontinued Valentinos, discontinued Gucci's, yeah. discontinued Yves Saint Laurent's. <laughs> So that one is really interesting to me. And on the whole, Rasasi makes really good fragrances. Now let's go to Haramein or All Haramein. They are probably best known for their L'Aventure line, which is almost like Haramein's version of the Club de Nuit line for Armoff with some variations. So the most well-known one is the original L'Aventure, which is Aventus, yeah, this is Creed Aventus once again. It's really well balanced though. This one's not too smoky, not too fruity. It's kind of like right there in the middle and the quality is good on that one as well. And there's also Laventure Intense, which is which is also Aventus, just more intense. Then we've got Laventure Knight, which is knight with a K, like a guy with a sword and a shield and armor. Yeah, Laventure Knight, that's Green Irish Tweed. Then there's Laventure Blanche, which is Silver Mountain Water, again. And then there's Lavature Femme, which is Aventus for her. Now on the whole, 
All of the La Venture fragrances are well done clones. The quality is nice. It's pretty much on par, like I said, with what you would expect to find in the Club de Nuit line. Some people are gonna prefer the Armoff fragrances. Some people are gonna prefer the Haramein fragrances. But I wouldn't say smelling them side by side that there's a huge difference in quality between the two brands there. Then there is the Portfolio line. These are a little bit more expensive and they come with a better presentation. Uh, one of the most popular, if not the most popular, is this one, Neroli Canvas. This is a clone of Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. And this is kind of like Rosasi, where you're paying more for what's in here than you would from a normal clone or what you might expect to pay for a clone. But in return, you get a better product. The quality here smells markedly higher than most Haramein fragrances. There are a number of fragrances in that portfolio line. The most well-known other than that one is Royale Stallion, and that's a clone of Pegasus from Parfums to Marley. And if we compare that one to Armoff Craze, I would say you should go with Craze because it's much cheaper. And the quality difference there is not offset by the price difference. So just get the cheaper one. And then there's the Amber Oud collection, comes in bottles like this. This one is Amber Oud Gold, and this smells like Herba Pura from Suspiro, now Zerzhov. There's also Oud Rouge in this line, Amber Oud Rouge. That smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. And then there's the Tobacco Edition, and that smells like Tobacco Vanille. And I would say that those also have good quality. So that Amber Oud line of fragrances it's nice. That's gonna take us to the final house here, which is Latafa Perfumes. Now, as I mentioned, I've been leaving a lot of fragrances from these houses out. They have hundreds of releases. Not all of the releases from these houses is great. I know that these ones I'm all saying are good, but that's because I cherry picked these ones. I took the ones that I thought were really nice and put them here to let you guys know about them. There are a lot of fragrances from these houses that are bad. like. Bad, bad. So if you're looking at blind buying something I'm not talking about in this list, try to do a little research online first. Just don't get burned. Because I have bought some fragrances from some of these houses that smell like Windex, like just terrible. With that out of the way, let's talk about Latafa. First couple fragrances I wanna talk about are some of the first ones that I bought years ago from this house, actually sold them and bought them again. So those are gonna be Rogba and Rogba Wood Intense. The original Rogba smells really close to Scent Story 24 Gold. And at one point in time, that fragrance was hot. Everybody wanted it. It was going for like $70 some places. You know, people were paying a lot. Nowadays, they don't pay so much for that one, but back in the day they did. And Rogba was like the alternative. If you couldn't afford 24 Gold, if you couldn't find it, you got the Rogba. It also has a similarity to Bouquet Ideal from Zerzhov. Uh, but much closer to the scent story. Then Rogba Wood Intense basically takes that Rogba DNA, amps it up, adds some woods, and uh, frankly, between the two, I think this one's better. This is not really a direct clone of anything. I mean, some people have said it smells a little bit like By the Fireplace from Maison Martin Marcella. I don't think it's super close to that, but I do think it's a really nice fragrance. So I bring it up here, even though it's not maybe a direct clone. Then there is Oud for Glory. This is probably their most well-known uh, current release or, or newer release. And this is a clone of Oud for Greatness from Initio. And I'll tell you, Oud for Glory is actually really, really good. I mean, they even knocked the bottle off pretty well. Yeah, it shows how far you can go with fragrances and not get sued. You basically can just lift everything and it's okay no problems really though that one that one's that one's solid then there's aldur all maknoon silver i reviewed that many years ago that's aventus it's a pretty good one it's balanced uh, but it can't really hang with supremacy silver or lavender or club de nuit intense man it's not not quite at that level then there is Amir Al Oud, which was actually the third fragrance I bought from this house years ago. And that one has some similarities to Black Afghano, but I, I think realistically, that one kind of stands alone. There is Latafa Oud Mood. Now with that name, you would think it's a clone of a Maison Francis Kirkjean fragrance, like Oud Satin Mood or something like that, but it's actually not. 
It's a clone of Lancome's Oud Bouquet, which I do own, and uh, it's a very nice fragrance. It's unisex, maybe leaning a little bit feminine though. And then the last fragrance is this one, Amir Al Oud Intense Oud. Now this is a clone of By the Fireplace. So I know I mentioned By the Fireplace with this one, Rockwell Wood Intense. I don't think this is really a clone of By the Fireplace. You could maybe say that it reminds you bits and pieces of By the Fireplace, but this one, this one's a clone of By the Fireplace. This one is trying to just be as close as possible to that scent. And like pretty much everything here, it's a really good clone of the fragrance that it's knocking off. And even though the presentation looks really simple, it actually feels good. It's a really heavy bottle and the cap is kind of kind of cheap in a way, but overall I like it. Now, one thing to keep in mind with Latafa, they're not as easy to find at Fragrance Net or Fragrance X typically as these other ones. So you're gonna have a little more luck usually with Haramein, Armaf, Rasasi, than you will Latafa. So some of the Latafa fragrances, if you're interested in them, probably have to go to eBay or Amazon or something like that. And also just a really quick mention, Ray and Tradition, their Insurrection line. So you've got Insurrection Pure and then Insurrection Extreme, and those are going to be Aventus. You have Insurrection Sport, that's gonna be Aventus Cologne. You have Insurrection Wild, that's gonna be Pure Havan. And those are the main ones that you really wanna focus on with Ray and Tradition because they do have some other fragrances that are maybe not quite as high in terms of quality. So just stick with those ones and you're good. And I do like the presentation on the Insurrection bottles. I think it looks really great for the price. So there we go, guys. Five huge clone brands, some of the biggest ones and some of their best fragrances. A lot of you out there have sent me emails asking to review or talk about different clone fragrances. So I'll try to get to those as I can. Thanks for hanging in with me, guys. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.